Uh, everyone, today we're using Blender to create a beaver animation. First, let's click on the cube, then click the wrench, add modifier, and click on to subvision surface, and apply it. Click here, apply. Then, add modifier again, and click on to mirror. Once that's done, we have our mirror, and click on to edit, and then delete half the part here for our mirror to succeed and click on verticals and oh I missed a spot here now that the black dots around the corners are done on half the circle that means the mirror is success then we need our background image for making the beaver dope click on to background have our beaver background then edit it. Edit the beaver. Now that we have our beaver done, let's have our bone structure for the beaver to make our animation succeed. So go to armature, and we have this triangle for our bone for our beaver and put it beneath the beaver and then make it center, duplicate it, go to the green stick figure, rotate it, and then we click onto the viewport display and make it visible for our bone, and then we then click onto uh, the bone of the beaver, and then go to edit mode, and then click E to make more bones, and then do the rest. Once we've done the bone structure for our beaver, then we make our animation for our beaver. First, uh, it was 3D viewport, but click onto the dope sheet to make our animations. And then click the bone, right click your mouse, go to location and go to 25 frames uh, where is it here it is and then we click onto it right press i and then location and rotation or no sorry uh first location and rotation and then go to 25 and then we click select our bones to make our next step for for our beaver and then make it seem like it's swimming and then for a toe then we click i and then location and rotation Now that our animation for our beaver is done, we make a video for it. And I always use the FFmpeg video, and always because it's famous. And then we click on encoding, and then we always need to have the H.264 for our video codes. And then we click render, and then render animation. Now that we have our beaver and we can improve on it, you can use it for games or other stuff. And hopefully you can use this beaver for, for your benefit. And I hope this helps. Thank you, everyone. And I hope you have a nice day. Thank you.